Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Before we start, we're throwing it to Moose for his Monday Music Minute. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos, and welcome back to my Monday Music Minute. The first song we have on our list today is I'm So Tired by Lauv. I'm so tired of the songs, tired of the songs, tired of the songs, tired of love. Just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home. Oh. Next on our list is Was by Katie Bell. I just can't say it. Stare at the ceiling, I can't sleep all night. I, 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 I go to bed without you asking, no, no, why, why. And finally, we have Stay With Me by Diamond Eyes and the late Christina Grimmie. Thanks so much for tuning in, Glads. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Moose. Those were some cool tunes. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Mark your calendar for this Wednesday, March 6th, when you can chat with the reps from PPCC during advisory. At lunch that day, you can chat with the reps from Black Hills State University in the Lower Commons. On Thursday, March 7th, the reps from Adams State scheduled a visit with us. And then on March 13th, the reps from Simpson College in Indianola, Iowa are scheduled to visit. March 13th is also the day of for the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program, Open House. The event is from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this cosmetology program, your parents have to be there too. Stop by the Counseling Center for more information. Another cosmetology school, the Paul Mitchell School, will visit us at lunch in the Lower Commons right before spring break on March 21st. And then in April, the reps from Colorado Mesa rescheduled their visit for April 3rd, followed by the the reps from Western Colorado University who are scheduled to visit us on April 17th. If you missed any of these dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Juniors, WHS is once again hosting an SAT test prep seminar on Saturday, March 23rd. If you would like to attend, the cost of the seminar is $89.99. Juniors, you should see registration materials in the mail very soon. And seniors, you can also sign up, but you need to see Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center to do that. Seniors, here are two pieces of news you can use. First, there will be a senior class meeting tomorrow during advisory. And second, and maybe more important, if you would like to submit your photos for the senior slideshow to be played before graduation, please stop by the Counseling Center to see Mrs. Abeta for the Snapchat and email address. Remember, your photos must be school appropriate and your deadline, no foolin', is April 1st. AP students, the deadline to pay for your AP tests is March 15th. You can pay for those tests in the business office during lunch or after school until Friday, March 15th. When we return from the break, we'll We'll have some early information on the prom and ticket costs, but first, we're sending it to our sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Isaac Fleet. Happy Monday morning, Glads. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC cadets, the military ball is approaching quickly. Festivities begin at 1800 hours at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. Remember, this is a formal event, so the uniform of the day is formal attire. Spring sports kick off this week with the boys swim meet on Thursday, March 7th at 4 p.m. against Pueblo Central at the Widefield Park and Rec Pool. The boys have been hard at work perfecting their lap times. See you there. Ladies, Coach Sardinia is looking for a few great players for her soccer teams, and she welcomes all experience levels. Practices start at 3.30 on the upper north practice field by the stadium. See Coach Sardinia in room 130 with any questions. In forensics news, the team is hard at work for their state competition later this month. We'll have more information as the date gets closer. We hope to have Damon's dose of health on for you the week of March 15th and he should be discussing mental health, but stay tuned because plans may change. In baseball news, stay tuned this week for more chances to check out our baseball team on the diamond. That's it for your Gladiator Sports update. I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the news with Kieran and Ethan. Thanks for that update, Isaac. Ladies, it's not too late to set up an 
an appointment with Miss Ford or Mrs. HK to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. The military ball is about two weeks out and prom is in April. Remember, these dresses are free and yours to keep. What's not to like about that? Glads, did you know that the library no longer charges overdue fines? That's right, you can keep your books as long as you like without having to worry about paying overdue fees. Remember, you do eventually have to return your books, but you're off the hook for late fees. Of course, if you lose or damage the book, then you will have to pay a fine. Come check out all the new changes in the library, including their graphic novel section. And now, we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Happy Monday! I'm back again! Mr. Burton ditched me! <gasps> no, he didn't! Here he comes! <laughs> I made it! Yay! Monday. So today we're having meatloafs. Mm, mm, yum, yum. Barbecue but, sauce. Well, do you Can like... Please, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, you barbecue can sauce okay. It'll barbecue. be out. Okay. With mashed cheese and gravy. And then on Tuesday, wangs. Wang! Chicken the wang, wang thing. Hot wang, Ain't so. nothing but a wang thing. Ain't nothing but a wang thing. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, if you need to add money to your lunch, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, check the test prep flyers in your classrooms with the dates and content for the test prep sessions happening this week. Sign up in the library for those Thursday sessions. Oh, and we'd like to remind all students to return any scheduling cards to the Counseling Center. If you do not return your scheduling card to the Counseling Office, you may not get the classes you want next year. The musical theater production of Little Women will be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see how the March sisters handle life in the Civil War through music. Glads, we have some aspiring engineers at WHS, and if you've ever wondered who the next engineering genius will be, you should come find out at the WHS Engineering Showcase. Mark April 25th on your calendars for the senior project presentations where you can check out projects and activities from all the engineering classes including aerospace, civil, architectural, intro, and principles. The event will take place in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. And finally, we have some very early prom information for you. We do not know the theme yet, but you will want to save the date of April 20th. The prom is slated to be at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Discounted ticket prices will be $45 per person from March 18th through the 20th. After those dates, ticket prices go up to $50 until April 16th. Keep this in mind, you will not be able to buy tickets at the door, so get your tickets early. And remember, your ticket price includes dinner. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Remember, students, we have a four-day school week. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.